Hey y'all, so I am back again, um, doing a kind of haul, um, overview, I guess, as well, could be, it could be called, um, of my, my daily, my calendar planner, whatever you want to call it, my planner. So, I know it's something that's been going around all over YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, at least my, my Pinterest, or my Instagram, I mean, I know I kind of play with them and search for them. Um, so I started doing this originally late last year. I had started doing a notebook, and I was just going through and write, writing quote uh, writing quotes. Surprisingly hard to say all of a sudden. Um, just kind of as a way to focus myself, make myself slow down, focus away from work, away from everything. Last year was a really rough year for me. Um, kind of randomly there, but it was just like from. March all the way through the end of December was just rough. It got better towards November, December. I still had my moments, and so far this year has been really good. It's just kind of calm. I don't <laughs> want to kill anybody, which is always a good thing. Um, so I, I kind of started doing the planner just to kind of focus myself, give myself something to work on to focus, and just kind of calm down at the end of the day. I switched jobs in the end of November, of October, the week of Halloween, I actually started a new job. Same kind of company, same, uh, it's actually a competitor from where I used to work. Um, but I'm in dispatch and dispatching, which makes me, you know, I like dispatching way better than customer service. Customer service really pushed my limits. Like, I, I don't mind helping people and being that type of person. Phone, inbound customer service call centers, not my thing. Absolutely not my thing. Can do it if I have to. Don't ever want to have to do it again. Thankfully, I have dispatching as a background now. I had it then, so it makes it another option that I could go to if I needed to. So, onto the planner. So, I picked up this planner here. It's just purple and it's got kind of a design kind of on there here. Um, and it is a January through December for 15 planner. It is by the brand Need, in case you were wondering. Um, take, uh, I'm not. So just kind of go over it really quickly. It's got the four year calendar here in the front. Try to get this up. And then it's got 2015 planning, which I probably won't use this because I'm kind of more of a week to week type of person there. Um, then I did have a calendar for the end of no for November and December. So it's got tabs. I'm trying to open it this side here. It's got tabs down the side, down the pages here for each month. And then it does have the calendar. And then once you get into the individual months, it goes week by week, starting Monday through Sunday. Here. Um, okay, week two, three. Apparently I started at the end of November, so this is my first week of doing it. Um, so I kind of split it up. I probably am going to actually split it once I figure out how I want to set it up. Excuse me, drinking some coffee here at 10:30 at night. No wonder I don't sleep with crap. So, this first week was just me kind of playing with it. Um, I had picked up some washi tape, just did a yellow line there on the side, some coloring, stickers. Um, I will usually put my, um, <laughs> see what I was doing there, uh, whatever's going on that day on the side here, and then if as I'm going through I'll show you as well, I'm, I do write quotes. So like at the beginning I was just writing one or two per day, just kind of giving myself something to do. So that was the first week. I really didn't do much at the second part of the week. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I have too much light in here. Let's turn this light down a little bit. There we go. So week two was just kind of playing with the washies, trying to figure out how I liked it. I did not like it this. I do like this washi, which I'll go over some of the washies that I have. Um, it's really cool stuff. I found out Big Lots. It doesn't, it's glittery as you can see. But it doesn't do that flaky glittery. So that week I really didn't do much as well. Just kind of a little bit of information and then some quotes. Um, I do like that. So February. 
first week in February. Same thing. I kind of ended up finding a kind of a washy design I like to do. Just kind of, you know, so I do the edge. I usually do always do the edge at least on one of them. And then this little pieces here across the top. Some stickers, more quotes, and then I got into a little more doing more quotes. So it looks like I was doing about three in the, that week. Didn't t didn't really do much at the end of the week. Um, oh yeah, so there was, that was the week of my the weekend of my birthday, which I ended up getting sick. Um, and then this was the week of Valentine's. I'm going to lose my little thing. I know as soon as I open this. So this was the, Valentine, the week of Valentine's, as you can kind of guess by looking at the designs. Kind of did a little bit more. I was sick all that week, so I did not do any type of design, anything. I, like, slept the majority of it when I was home. And then this was the first week I really did really well. This was two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago, I think. So we'll show you the whole page here. You can kind of see I did a lot more quotes. Just kind of... Mostly it's work. I really don't do a ton of stuff. But then I do quotes across it. I kind of decided I wanted to try to draw just random quotes throughout the week. I'll take each night, usually between 11 and midnight when I get home from work. And just sit there and do quotes. Same thing. More quotes. More work. The washies. I did not like this, this washi. It's a fabric washi. Mm, nope. Too stretchy. Too wiggly. Same thing. This was this week. Um, and I'll show you what I got started so far for the week coming up, which is the first week in March. If I can open it. There, there we go. So, just kind of set it up a little simple, nothing too wild. Got some washi on both sides, I think. Yeah, washi on both sides. The gl some more glitter tape, which I, is a pain in the ass. Some camera ones. And then a little bit set up so far. This is going to be coming up for Monday, so I don't obviously have any of my quotes started yet. But that is it so far. Um, so Sunday night I will sit and design for the week coming up. Um, and then I do have a little cheat sheet here of the different colors I'm choosing to use for each design. And I just paper clip that on each week. Just simple. Oops kind of like that so each week I'm going to just kind of find that and go from there so that is the actual planner there stay I have a little pencil pouch that I carry for the markers or my pens and stuff let's see if I can do this I'll be intact bunch of pens in there um I tend to use these ones these flare ones which I will link a pack down below um by Papermate um, I like these for the quotes. I'm going to buy some more so I have more colors. These are my favorite ones so far. Then I do have a set of stickers in there that I'm not going to try to dig out at the moment. And then over the... See, over the weekend I picked up this little pencil pouch here. It's sticky in the back so I'm driving me nuts. From the dollar store, or from the from Target, from the dollar spot. And it's got, I think, 13 little dividers in there and I just pick up stickers at the dollar store and then I did pick up did I put them in here oh they're in there so I'm just stickers and stuff like that I'm going to keep in here and then it folds pretty flat and everything like that and then I've noticed I got a little crazy on the washies so this is just a sterile light flip top it's a seven and five eighths by six and a half here um, and it has my washies. Um, so I've ended up picking up, most of these have come from like Walmart or Target. No, Walmart. Most of them are Walmart. I did pick up a bunch over the weekend, but I'll show you that set here. This is one of those glitter ones that I have that doesn't flake off, but it's not, it's got a clear protective back, so it like always comes unrolled. Drives me absolutely nuts. And then I did pick up a bunch over the weekend, which I'm going to show you from, well, I'm going to show you this one here. I picked up this one from Target um, yesterday, yesterday, yeah, yesterday, and it's just kind of the passport stamps, I couldn't think of what it was called either. I haven't used it yet, but it is by Scotch Brand, and it, I think it was 10 feet long. It was like $3.99, but that is a good amount there. And then I picked up all this other set. 
that I'm about to show you. I'm trying to get them back in the pattern as they were together. So, picked up the, these are all for Michaels. Um, so I picked up this set here. It is a set of camera, which is what I used today for both of these, and then just some lime green polka dots. And they're also these are all ten feet as well. Um, and then these two were together. This was a, just a skinny key, which I love keys, so I really love that. And then this is just a bit thicker than the keys, so it's about double of just a print. Like I almost want to say, mm, yeah. I almost want to say, yeah, they're trying to figure out if I can figure out what it's talking about, but I don't really know. But I do like, I like that type of stuff as well. My room is kind of Florida Lees and post, -op, post letters and stuff like that, postcard type stuff, as you can kind of see by this up here, kind of. Um, so another set I picked up, oh, uh, there's here many, was... The three little ones. So then I picked up a set of three that were just skinny ones here. So purple lines, pinkish chevrons, and then purple, purple gingham. And then this is the last set I picked up over the weekend, which were just two sets of blue ones, kind of jean material looking um, as well. And again, these were all the 10 feet length, which is really awesome because you find these ones that are like nothing. Um, so then I just stir, store them in here. Let me try to get them back in here. They're falling on me. Ah! I'm attacked. Put this irritating silver one back in here. And then I just kind of store them stacked like this in here. Um, so I've got some more of the glittery ones. A um, bunch of Valentine's ones that I found at Walmart. And um... Some I found at Big Lots as well. And then I did order online on, get them through eBay, yeah, through eBay. This, a couple different sets here. These are for the Erin Connor planner, which I don't have, but I figure since I don't typically use like a full sheet anyways, I know I do use a little bit, I end up using about yay big or less anyways so I figured this would be perfectly fine and I ordered these off of eBay if I can I will link them down below um, so these are just some samples so I picked up a set of pink and blue and they come all come well this one comes with one three so seven sheets of this um, and then we got some pinks and there is four of that one and then we got some green which had four as, as five so that set this set has five as well and Five of this set here as well um, so I'll try to link them down below I think it ended up being three different sellers um, again it's the Erin Connor planner which I don't have but it's okay um, so so far I'm enjoying this planner um, I have kind of looked at some other ones I'm not sure about the Erin Connor planner how I feel about getting that one there is one through Etsy I was looking at that I'm kind of intrigued by um, Probably about the same. Um, if you have any recommendations, um, thoughts, ideas, post them down below. And until next time, I will talk to y'all later.